just gonna walk out first, just nice and easy. I'm just gonna walk it out. When you get into that bomb position, I'm going to bring one foot up to the hand, drop the back leg down, just hold it there for a second, and then step it back. And then opposite side. We're just gonna do two of these while we're down here on each leg. So go ahead and change again. And back up again. Go ahead and walk. But I just kind of come into like a downward dog there and hold it. Just stretch out those hamstrings before we get started. And then from there, I'm just going to have you bring your feet a little bit. Grab those toes, squat it down. Push the hips up, down, and up. And we've got a couple more of those. Um, today's workout, guys, we have a four exercise circuit and two, three exercise circuits. Um, both of which are going to be two rounds. Um, let's go on to some squats. Um, the work to rest ratio is going to be 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Um, and then after the circuit's complete, we'll rest for a couple minutes before we get into the next one. Same as always. All right, let's get the upper body warmed up. Big arm circles. I just want to see, can you guys see me pretty clearly? Uh, it's a little bit dark. I can see the streak from the, the light bulb above me here, which really annoys me, but as long as you guys can see me, um, it's okay. Go ahead and you go backwards. All right, and then from there, I'm just going to have you rotate the hips a little bit. Just bring the arms with you. So if you need to cover your back foot slightly, Go ahead and do that. We're just going to go for about five on each direction, so not too crazy here. All right, so if you guys need anything else warmed up, feel free to go ahead and do that while you watch me here. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the first circuit. So, as I said, four exercises. We're going to hit all lower body. Um, the first one is going to be squat jack. So, start with your feet nice and close. Pop it out if you can get it down deep enough. Touch the ground and go from there. Um, the other way that you can do that is squat and tap one at a time. Whatever way you're uh, more comfortable with is fine. If you're not tapping again, it's fine to just come into the squat and then come um, in between. Number two, you're going to split your stance. Keep that stance there. You're going to go down. Add in a little jump. If you're not jumping, it's just a straight split squat if you don't lose your balance. So you're up and down. And then third one, change sides. So you go to that right side. Fourth one is going to be a squat pulse. So you're just going to hold here. And we're going to pulse. All right. Um, give you guys modifications if we need them. But we're going to go in three, two, one. Squat jacks first. So feet nice and close. Down and touch. Keep the chest nice and tall as you do this, guys. Don't lean. For example, don't be here. Don't turn it into a deadlift. Down in the squat, down, feet in, out, and touch. If you want to go one hand, you can do so, just like that, all right? Keep it going, guys. You got it. Almost through this first, uh, first exercise here. And 10 seconds left. All right, so we have 20 seconds recovery. Again, the hardest version here is gonna be that split stance. Down, little jump. You're gonna land on the same leg and go again. If you're not doing the plyometric jump, just keep it in that position, squat down and step back up. Let's go, stay on that same leg. So I'm gonna do the modified option today because my knees are barking at me. So. I won't be jumping, but again, you guys can go here if you want to get a little bit more um, explosiveness and burn in those quads. Here we go, guys. Don't change legs. 15 seconds left. You see the chat got a little bit. I hope everything's fine. Oh, it's kind of. All right, keep it going, guys. Five seconds. All right, so we're gonna change legs. 
I did my left side, I'm gonna to go to my right. Again, add in the plyometric if you want to. Um, otherwise, just keep it split stance um, and do the split squats. Okay, we're going to five, four, three, two, one. So again, if you can, it's a little jump, land soft, and go from there. If you're not doing the jump, if you've got knee issues, hip issues, whatever it might be, you're down into that split squat, driving back up off that front leg. Make sure this back leg is just a stabilizer, so up on the toe, down, and up. Slight forward lean's okay with the body. Obviously, if you're doing the jumps, just make sure you're landing soft. 10 more seconds, guys. Almost there. And relax. So, last one we have is the little squat pulses. So, I want you guys to get into about half squat, a little bit lower than that. Not all the way down here, because you're not going to get anything of that. Keep the muscles contracted, stay about parallel, and we're just going to pulse. Okay? Let's go. Put it down, and just pulse it out. By now, the quads should be burning a little bit from the first few exercises, and all these are. Just a little tiny ups and downs. Your up and down shouldn't be significant, no more than six inches. Keep that nice and low. Your butt shouldn't be down, chest should be up. You don't have to have your hands like me if you want to have your hands on your hips or wherever. Again, that's fine. Need to rest, stand the back up. Bring it back down. Three, two, one. Rest. 20 seconds. Going into round two. We have the squat jacks. So, long times down. Again, if you want to do both hands down, that's fine. Um, and the other thing, just keep your chest up and back down. Don't turn into a deadlift. We are leaning over. Let's go. So, the blocks. We're only two rounds today, so make sure your intensity stays up. The muscles won't be getting as much burn as we normally do with the three rounders. And there's still plenty in here to get your legs going, so really push yourself for the whole 40 seconds. It's midweek. We're all probably feeling super unmotivated, still working from home. But get through this workout, I guarantee you'll feel better, all right? Last five. All right, recover. Go into that split squat, jump. If not, just do the regular split squats. Okay, right, we're going in five. Let's go. So again, you can go here with a little jump. Go ahead and do that. If not, keep that split stance. Hips are nice and straight. Make sure they're not here. Rotate onto the back leg. Hips are forward. Keep the weight on that left glute. If that's the leg that's in front that's working. Drive through the heel and the midfoot. Feel the quads and the glutes working. You guys got this. Keep it going. We're almost there. I am recover. Change legs. I'm going to my right side now. Halfway through this last uh, last round of this circuit. Didn't bring any water down with me today, which was really stupid. I realized I should have. Okay, we're going in five, three, two, one. Let's go. Spot that stance. Again, go down and up. Land nice and soft if need be. And if not, here's your little choice. So you're just straight down and straight up. Again, keep those hips square. Don't let your hip rotate like this. Drive that knee out. That'll keep your hips nice and straight. Go down and up. 15 seconds. Last five. Keep it going. And recover. Last one. 
last one, guys, we're into the squat pulses. Getting that burn in those quads. You guys got this last round, or uh, last exercise in the circuit. Let's go. Hold it down there. Keep those quads parallel. And little pulses. Again, nothing crazy. You're not coming all the way up and back down. It's just tiny little pulses. Six inches, no more. You guys got this. Keep it going. We got 15 seconds, then we're going to take a couple minutes break, so push through here. If you really need to, stand it up, squat it back down, just take a couple seconds. Last five, keep it going. And recover. Good job, guys. Come to the chat, let me know how you're doing. Um, next round, next circuit is going to be um, upper body, cardio based, and then we will finish with some core. Um, again, come to the chat, let me know how you're doing. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry you can't do the workout, Kendall. Really, you're here in spirit. Helena seems like she's struggling enough for the both of you, so that's good. How's everyone doing? Sarah, Esther, talk to me ladies. You're the only two here today, so I'm going to pick on you. I'm going to keep asking how you're doing. That was really bad. Kid. Kind of. You guys got it, keep it, <clears throat> keep that heart rate up. If you can stand up, stand up. I'm just sitting down so that I'm in frame here. <sighs> okay, so let's walk you through this next uh, circuit. Three exercises here. Like I said, a lot of cardio, upper body, also shoulders, but I'm not talking too much about that. So <clears throat> first exercise. Full burpee or a walkout. I'm not going to demonstrate that because we do them every week. So find out where you're at, either chest to floor with the jump and the burpee, or stand at the back here, walk it forward into the plank, walk it back. Exercise number two, mountain climbers. So you're here, up and down, move those legs nice and quick. And the last one, I'm going to pause the timer just so you can see. I'm going to turn sideways. These are called dive bombers or Basically, you're kind of going from like a child's pose into a push-up. So it's here, forward, down, and up. If you need to modify slightly, go on your knees, get the push-up done, come up into the plank, push it back, come down, knees down, and up. All right? Obviously, just go to your ability there. Um, if you can't do the full push-up, that's okay. Just drop down to your knees. Totally fine. Um, do the best you can with those, they're difficult. So we're going to start off with the burpees. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. If you're not doing burpees, we're doing walkouts. Three, two, one. Let's go. Burpees is all the way down, chest to floor. Popping it back up. If you're like me today, you're just feeling a little bit sore. Just make sure you're moving for the full 40 seconds. You don't have to kill yourself here. But let's get a lot of the workout. Keep yourself moving. Keep that heart rate up. We've got 12 seconds. That should be at least a couple more. You got this, guys. Keep pushing it. Three, two, one. 20 seconds rest, then we are into mountain climbers. I didn't manage to see you guys do strong last night, so you may have destroyed your legs or your upper body, I have no idea. So I apologize if this is like doubling up on it. <laughs> Let's go, mountain climbers. 
keep a pace that you can do for 40 seconds. Try not to gas yourself out after the first five, 10 seconds, and then have to slow it down. Once you get towards the end of the timer, if you do gas, open that uh, stance at the back and hold that high plank. We got 15 seconds. You guys got this. Last five. Three, two, one. Recover. So I would have you guys do, don't lean down on your arms so that you can let your muscles relax, sit up on your heels. Again, we're doing those dive bomber push-ups. So you're gonna be pushing yourself back with your knees off the ground into that child pose-like position. Let's go. So slight bend in the knees at the top if you need. Push it back, slide it forward, push up, and then slide it back. Again, if you need the modification here, Drop onto the knees, push up, pop the knees up, and push it back and forward. As you're doing these, try and think about getting your butt all the way down and forward. So it's this motion. Try not to have the butt up here with the slight bend. You want to get the butt down towards the heels, and then back into that position. Almost there, guys. Last three, two, one, and relax. If you don't quite feel comfortable on those dive bombers, that's okay. It's a pretty advanced exercise, so um, if you can do it, again, just modify it as needed. Five seconds. One more round. Burpees next. Let's go. All the way down, chest to the floor. Pop it back up. Get that little jump in. Again, if you need to modify, you're right here. Walking it out. Hold that high plank, walk it back up, stand on top. We are halfway through the time, guys. Get through the work piece. That's the hardest part in this one. You might disagree with me there, and that's fine. You can tell me in the chat, but as any of you know, I hate burpees. Almost there. Three, two, one, and relax. Next one is mountain climbers. Again, try not to rest on your arms. They are doing a lot of work here, so if you can, sit up, take the pressure off the arms while you can. We are going in three, two, one. Mountain climbers. Again, keep that nice high, high plank position. Steady pace. If you can, push it and push to the end. But if you get to the point where you need to rest, hold that high plank, glutes are engaged, so are the abs, but do that mountain climber position as long as you can. Almost there, we got about 10 seconds. Almost there, keep it going. And recover again. Sit back on those heels, take the weight off your upper body, let that recover. We're going into those dive bomber push ups next. Five seconds. And let's go, dive bomber push ups. Start in that high plank position, slight bend in the knees, push yourself back, butt down towards the heels, push up. And back. Again, if you need to, knees are down. Push up. Feet down. Knees up. Pushing it back. And loading it forward again. Almost there, guys. 10 seconds. Trying to get a couple more reps in. All right. End of circuit number two. Told you guys these are quick, short and sharp. So they do feel awful at the time, but you get through them quickly. So again, come to the chat, let me know how you're doing. Sarah, I don't think I heard from you in the last one. So jump in, let me know how you're doing right now. 
Helena, I know you've probably got some sort of complaint because you know you just like to mess with me all the time, which is fine. And Esther, also let me know how you're doing. Really wish I had my water bottle down here. <laughs> well, as a fitness professional, you should know not to chug water in the middle of a workout. Little sips. And then that way you don't get that build up in your stomach, right? Good. Glad to see you're still hanging in there. Um, next circuit is core. All abs. So fun little circuit to finish with. Um, you guys will do great. So I'm going to take another minute or so. I'll walk you through the exercises and then we'll do that. Yes, they're feeling tired. Okay. That's all right. Like I said earlier, it's... Uh, Midweek, we are pushing through it. Um, I know it's a drag right now, working from home, so get over that midweek hump. Thursday um, Thursday and Friday, you're close to the weekend, so get through tonight and chill and relax before the weekend. All right, so my lot of timers going. I'm going to show you guys the exercises we're doing for the next couple uh, next couple sets here. So number one is going to be a double crunch. So what that looks like, I want you to straighten your feet out. If you can keep them off the ground, great. If you need to put them down flat like this, that's okay. But the idea here is feet are up, you're crunching with the knees and the upper body. So it's kind of like a V up where you would be here, where you're bringing the knees into your chest. So it's a reverse crunch and a regular crunch together. So here, in, and out. All right. Exercise number two, uh, Russian twists. So if you want to add weight to this, you can. Again, this is a body weight hit class, but some people like to do this with weights. So fear out, you're going to twist the shoulders, don't just tap the floor because the thing to be uh, accounted for there is sometimes you just move your arms. All I'm tied to do is twist the shoulders so that you're using that core and your obliques to keep you uh, moving. The last one is going to be a forearm plank, obviously for 40 seconds. So we'll get through that. Um, we're starting off in 12 seconds with those double crunches. So do what you can here. If you need to have the feet down on the ground and then pull them in, that's fine. If not, keep those feet off the ground. So you're here, crunch, down, and crunch. These are tough. So again, pace yourself, right? If you need to get down on the ground for a second and then pull up in and up, that's okay. We can do that. You guys got this, it's 12 seconds left. Try and be deliberate in your movements, nice and controlled. And rest. Well, I know in the comments afterwards how you guys feel about those. I find them pretty challenging, but I like, really like them. Next one, Russian twist. So again, focus on not going like this with the arms. Turn the body. Use those obliques. Let's go. So feet are up. You can cross and bring them in a little bit closer if you want. So if you want to bring your knees in a little bit, to make it easier, you can. If not, straighten those legs out. And we're twisting shoulders all the way across so that we can then just do a little tiny tap with the hands. So we're turning. If it's all you feel these in your lower back, the position you want to be in, you're probably leaning back here. You want to crunch up, keep those abs engaged. So you're keeping that crunch and you're twisting. Notice how that I'm side on, but when I turn, my shoulders are facing the computer, right? That's how you should be in your end position. Go ahead and rest, 20 seconds. We're into the forearm plank. You guys got this, we're doing great. We're going in five. Okay, on the forearms, 
up on your feet, squeeze those glutes in, abs brace nice and tight, building that belly button towards the spine, and keep those quads locked out. My feet are slipping on the mat, so don't have shoes on. Do you want to see any lower back dropping? Can't see it through virtual screens, but just so you guys know, I'm still watching you. <laughs> Last five. And relax. One more round. We are almost there. We're doing those double crunches, so reverse crunch and regular crunch combined. Again, if you need to, drop your feet all the way onto the ground, that's fine. Show you the three options here again. So most difficult, feet off, coming up and in, and out. Option number two, a little bit less difficult, feet on the ground, pulling in, feet on the ground again. The other way that you can do this is if you bring your heels in slightly, you're taking out a lot of that movement from the hip flexor, so you can just easily crunch, pop those feet down, crunch, feet down, crunch, and feet down. Keep it going, guys. We have 10 seconds. And relax. Two minutes, guys. That's all we have left. Push through these Russian, uh, Russian twists and plank, and then we're going to stretch it out. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Rotate and twist. Again, you can have a slight bend in the knees like I do right now. Or if you want to go more advanced, just take the legs out straight. Again, just make sure you're twisting the torso. Don't just move the hands. Keep moving the, the core. Use those obliques to bring you back in. 10 seconds. Almost there. And then relax. Last exercise of the day, guys. Push through this here. You got it. And we'll stretch it out. All right, five seconds. Let's go. Again, glutes squeezed all the way in tight. Pulling that belly button towards the spine to activate the core. And we're keeping maximum tension throughout the body. Halfway. Remember to breathe. Last 10. You guys got it. Stay up. Don't let those knees drop. And relax. So from there, I'm just going to take you straight into the stretch. So relax the hips, the knees, and the ankles. From there, push up, stretch those abs out that you just worked so hard on. Just hold it here. Breathe. And we're going to pop it back into the downward dog. Ah, double dog child's pose, excuse me. Just hold it for another couple of seconds. And from there, we're just going to come onto all fours. We're going to push that upper back up towards the sky. Breathe all that oxygen out, and then we're going to dip down. Um, Cacti pose, I believe the yogis call it. So we're going to do four or five reps here of each. Feel good to stretch out that low back and those abs. 
one more of each. Okay, so from there, you're gonna bring one leg underneath. So pigeon stretch, so put the flag up across and you're gonna go down onto the forearms if you can and then just chill. Alrighty, we're going to slowly come out of that. What you do, just lean forward, pop that leg out, bring the other one underneath, and drop it down again. Just breathe, guys. Taking that heart rate down. Alright, from there, I'm just going to have you kind of roll out, turn it around. I'm going to lay on your back. We're going to bring the knee into the chest on one side. Just relax the head down. Make sure you're using a little bit of force to pull that knee into your chest. Feel the stretch in your hip flexor. And then from there, we're going to bring that left leg or whichever leg you're stretching across to the opposite side. And stretch out that lower back. If you hear a couple cracks, that's okay. You should be fine. And then from there, we're going to bring it back slowly and drop that other leg down, pull the other leg in. Again, pull that knee into the chest to feel the stretch. And then from there, bring it across to the other side. And there you have it. If there's anything else you need to stretch, please make sure to do so. I want you guys to feel good, not feel stiff. Um, before you go, guys, let me know how you're doing in the chat, as always. Let me know about the little core circuit what you liked, what you didn't like about it. Um, tomorrow we have um, Kendo's Total Body Strength starting at four o'clock. Um, as always, that will be a good class. Um, hopefully you guys can join. Sarah and Esther, you guys are normally always here, so I know you'll be there. Um, I am going to be teaching Butts and Guts on Friday. Um, I know you've had Kendo and Helena teach it. Um, so hopefully, um, as we're uh, changing up the instructor, you guys are getting something different each time. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we'll see you guys on Friday. And then I think the last thing for the weekend is my hit class on Saturday at 9 a.m. So see you guys tomorrow at Kendall's class at 4. Um, thanks for joining me. You guys are awesome. I will see you guys or speak to you guys tomorrow and see you on Friday for Butts and Guts. All right. I'll stay here in the chat in case anyone wants to say anything. But other than that, have a great rest of your night. Okay, no worries, Sarah. We're good to uh, we'll be good to hear from you Friday and Saturday. No worries that you can't make it tomorrow. Thanks for coming today. You're welcome, Esther. You're welcome, Helena. Don't know why I said it like that. Your name's Helena. Why did I make it so weird? All right. See you guys.